of the last outstanding items on this K-Swap is the intake piping. My first setup, I had this pipe, which came from the last owner, and it kind of just came off the manifold down to this headlight area, which was fine, but it interfered with the radiator hose here. It was possible to try to maybe work it so it didn't, but apparently, if you use a super long intake, you get some horsepower gains and it's allegedly dyno proven. So I do want to test that. But anyway, this is a 24 inch pipe and it's going to match up with this 45 section. So the tricky thing with having a 24 inch pipe is that there's nothing for it to hold on to. So I made this bracket. First I made it out of cardboard, then I modeled it in Fusion 360, and then I had it made by Send Cut Send. I went over this in my last video with how I made this radiator bracket, the same process for this. So this bracket mounts down here onto the VTEC solenoid, which is potentially a bad idea because this thing's gonna be vibrating in such a way that solenoid's not supposed to experience, but I'm thinking if there's a way to not hard mount this pipe onto this bracket so that the vibrations are here, but they're not necessarily carrying along this arm too much. So I initially was thinking about welding the pipe to this, but I'm thinking that I could put a little tab on here with a hole drilled through, and then honestly, maybe just a zip tie so it has some play so it can vibrate and not directly impact the VTEC solenoid. So I bought this fitting here on eBay which fits the Honda idle air temperature sensor, like so. And you put on this collar to lock it down. And then it also came with a bung that it'll screw into. So this bung now just needs to be welded onto the pipe here. I also need to consider how to clock this pipe so that this piece doesn't interfere with anything. And I'm thinking just putting it straight down. It's not 100% ideal, because in some cases you'd like the sensor to be offset a certain way so that nothing can build up like condensation or anything, so it would naturally drain off, but I don't think that's really gonna be a problem, and it's gonna look a lot better if we just go straight down and sneak my wire a different way. So that's the idea with that. The next order of business is figuring out the orientation of this 45 section which is kind of going to go like that. And then this pipe is going to fit across and I'm going to have to cut both of these and weld it. So let's start with that. So this pipe is going to sit on here and I actually do want it to kind of sit on the body of the car as well. And that's going to relieve some of the pressure on the bracket. So I'm just going to mark the pipe here, just knowing where it mounts. This is not where I'm going to cut it. I want to cut it along this line here. If we put our pipe in. I'm also gonna mark this just so I know where I'm at. But ultimately we know that this piece is gonna be what sits on the mount. And we're gonna have to cut the straight section to match up where I'm gonna cut this. So if I line up my two marks here and here, I'll know how much to cut off the straight section. Now we got these two pipe marks. I can just line up these two marks and I know I'm gonna cut this one here. So roughly here is where I'm gonna to have to cut the main pipe, the big pipe. Now a nice little trick to get in a straight line around a circle without driving yourself crazy is you can just put a zip tie around it. You know, it can still get skewed a bit, but it's gonna be better than what you had before, freehanding it.
So now with our pipes cut, we can figure out how these two pieces are gonna fit together. I made a little mark here so I know which side the temperature probe is gonna be at. So let's see how this piece is gonna really fit. The idea is to have this thing as straight as possible, but it has to be tilted right there. Yeah, that's it. So I'm just gonna mark this so we know exactly how it's clocked together. I brought the parts over to a local fabricator to do some TIG welds for me. I'm really happy with how it came out, but unfortunately my timing is a bit off. I pulled the motor out the day before I was able to get this completed, so it's going to have to wait until we shave the engine bay to test it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.